you guys realize that this U.S. Supreme Court ruled that you do not, and it is not, a privilege of your freedoms to film us, right? <laughs> you realize that, right? <laughs> and the commissioner I do. My question is, is why are you filming personal vehicles? One, I understand you can film our patrol cars. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. You don't understand much, though, so why don't you shut up and get back in your car and get out of here? Hey, what's up, guys? It's James Freeman, Valley Brook, Oklahoma. A class action lawsuit accuses Valley Brook Police of making arrests, writing tickets outside of the jurisdiction. And an attorney says it may have already happened thousands of times. Our Steve Shaw live outside the Oklahoma County Courthouse where the lawsuit was filed. Steve? Kelly and Amanda, attorneys for a motorist who is now suing Valley Brook, says this litigation is far reaching and could overturn a lot of convictions. <laughs> The lawsuit says in June of last year, Valley Brook police pulled a woman over at 1900 Southeast 59th Street. They busted her for illegal firearm possession and possession of pot. It's three blocks from the Valley Brook police station. Valley Brook cannot be on that road enforcing anything. Defense attorney Marvel Lewis says Oklahoma City annexed 83 feet of Southeast 59th Street 61 years ago. Valley Brook knew or should have known that they should not have been on 59th Street in Eastern. I have no explanation as to why they continue to enforce stuff on those roads that they shouldn't have been. Is it a cash grab? Uh, potentially. That's what we kind of see it as. Whoa! Don't talk. You guys realize that this U.S. Supreme Court ruled that you do not, and it is not, a privilege of your freedoms to film us, right? <laughs> you guys realize that this U.S. Supreme Court ruled that you do not, and it is not, a privilege of your freedoms to film us, right? Is that right? <laughs> and the commissioner I do. My question is, is why are you filming personal vehicles? One, I understand you can film our patrol cars. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. You don't understand much, though, so why don't you shut up and get back in your car and get out of here? Hmm. Have a good one. I don't know what the maximum IQ is that's required, but there is a threshold. If your IQ is too too high, you cannot get hired here. Yeah. I don't know if he realizes it. It's, if we can see it, we can film it. That is the craziest thing. <clears throat> Stupid son. Hey, try this door. This is the courthouse. I don't know if I'm walking out. 
But as I understand it, you don't understand it. Yeah. That was funny how you said you understand it. Stupid ass. I'm worried about now is uh... No, I'm just getting some video of the area. Thank you though. Appreciate it. Is this the court? This is the court clerk's office. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Just making sure I'm not totally lost. You are not lost at all. <laughs> Thanks. This is the court right here. Yeah, they got a lot. Let's go check out the other vehicles. It might be a lot too, man. Yeah. Police department. Hey. Dude, I can't believe what he said. He's like, you do not, and it is not, a privilege of your freedoms to film us, right? Oh my gosh. What an idiot. Beware of dog. Oh, okay. That's their... That's their dog that they taught to lie. Such a nice puppy. I don't know if it's a dog or a pig. Hey, hey, uh, do you know if the department is is uh, still pulling people over outside of the jurisdiction? I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Okay, you don't know, you don't really necessarily work with the police department at all, really, huh? Well, we're the court clerks. I mean, we're part of the town. Yeah. But no. we're not like we're not on the street and that kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. she and I, and we deal with the tickets, that kind of thing. Um, and so uh, when they're issuing tickets, they have to put on the ticket where they pulled them over at, right, yeah, or where the stop did. was made. Mm -hmm. So have, has it been a consistent thing where they their stops are made outside of the jurisdiction? Yeah, I don't. Don't know. Yeah, I you, I could just take your name and number, and you can talk to the chief. Okay. Um, how many how many officers work for this department? We have thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. You guys do twelve hour shifts or? No, they're eight hour shifts. Eight. Okay, three eights. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'll probably just do uh, open records request. Can I do those online? No, we don't have it online, but I have a form. Okay, I'll just take that, and then yeah. what I'll do is I'll because I'm sure I'm going to need to do a whole bunch. So what I'll do is I'll just make my own copies once I figure out exactly how many I need to do and, and mail them in. So. Not a problem. <clears throat> so how many officers are on duty right now, do you know? I'm not at liberty to say. Okay. Is it, It's public information, though. Is it, I mean, I, I could go and... No, but that's an officer. Yeah, it's an officer safety issue. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't give that info out. I understand what you're trying to say. And, and, you know, officer safety is kind of a, just a broad thing that makes it so that officers get to do whatever they want. We don't give information about our officers now. Okay, as far as how many are on duty at any given time, though, I can get that via public records request. I just thought it'd be easier if you could tell me. Yeah, I just... Okay, that, okay. All right, what was your name? My name is Talina. Talina, all right. Thank you so much, thank Talina. You guys have a great day. You too. For officer safety, we can't tell you how many thugs we have on the road. Officer safety. Well, that's usually when they run. You know what I'm going to do? Huh? I'm going to do a public information request right now for uh, which officers are on duty at the moment. Awesome. Or, you know what, I'm going to...
Do you have a pen? I'm gonna go ahead and just fill one out right now for, uh, and then if I get one more to take with me to, to make copies of. You can. So are you guys part of like the First Amendment on it? We do all kinds of stuff. I, I cover things all over the place. Um, Second Amendment, First Amendment, um, all, all kinds of police misconduct. And there's been a lot of it here in this city, allegedly. Yeah. Um, the thing is, it's, it's always so hard to get these open records requests, you know, to get information. No, um, no you, you can request records any time. Right, I understand I can request them any time, just like I can ask you how many officers are on duty. It's, but it's like, is, but these are um, it's, it's like pulling teeth, though, trying to get some of these, these uh, records where, you know, it... A lot of times, some of the allegations could be thrown out immediately if no, we could get I mean, clear. Any time that we have a records request, it's processed. <clears throat> right, but when I, without filling out the paper, just standing here and asking you how many officers are on duty, you, you know, yeah, it's, no, it's, we just don't give that. That for officer safety, we don't give that. Even though you'll have to give it when I write up on the form and ask now, for. Now I don't. Right, but they do. Yeah. And that's, so, so it's for them to do, not for me to do. It's it's out outside of my job scope, and I don't. You understand, though, how that's kind of, it, it's just, you know, you know the information is public, you know we can have it, and so to, to make us fill out a form just kind of makes it that much more difficult to get information. You're trying to, you're trying to say that I'm being difficult, I've not been anything. I'm not saying you are, specifically. Maybe you're following a policy that it's, it's the... It is our policy. Right, and so what I'm saying is the policy is difficult. Yeah, I... I'm not blaming it on you. I don't anything about the Okay, policy. all right. Yeah, I'm not blaming, I'm not trying to throw the blame on you, I'm saying, but... The policy is difficult. It's I mean, more difficult than it needs it has to be. It nothing to do with me, I can tell you that. Right, right. Um, so I'm not going to put my uh, home address there. Um, I've been retaliated against by police plenty of times before. Um, just fill I'll leave out a whatever you choose to fill out and yeah, I'll turn it in. Yeah, but I'll, I'll make sure I have contact information on there for you guys to... Uh... Hey, how you doing? It's going to take them just a minute. Um, I can do this out. You got business here? Yes, he does. I can do it outside if you've got business here. Oh, okay. Oh, what are you taking at? Oh, you're like... I'm recording, though, so if you want, I can take it outside while you're doing your business. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Thank you. Tuesday afternoon, Valley Brook Police Chief Mike Stamp told me, quote, we don't have anything to say. Which is good, because he might have said something stupid like... You do not, and it is not, a privilege of your freedoms us, right? And referred me to town attorney Ray Vincent. Vincent told me he hasn't seen the lawsuit yet, but he's anxious to see it. He says in 1992, Oklahoma County District Court case ruled that something called an interlocal agreement between Oklahoma City and Valley Brook allows officers from both departments to arrest people on streets that serve as boundary lines. But Lewis says this stretch of Southeast 59th is not a boundary line, and Oklahoma City terminated the agreement years ago. I'm not sure the exact year, but it was more than 10 years ago, yes. You guys realize that this U.S. Supreme Court ruled that you do not, and it is not, a privilege of your freedoms to film us, right?